Hey everyone, I'm First Solar Meteorologist Brian Walter. Our hot and humid weather continues and we're not seeing too much change on the way in the extended forecast. Now initially this evening we might see a couple of isolated thunderstorms. Those will come to an end as we head into tonight and we'll see partly cloudy skies, temperatures on either side of 70, maybe some upper 60s north of Interstate 74, otherwise low 70s as we wake up tomorrow morning. Highest tomorrow into the 90s once again, low to maybe a couple spots in the mid 90s. Heat index values will be as high as 95 to possibly upward of 100 degrees. And we could sneak in a couple of showers and thunderstorms later in the day. But for the most part here, future cast remains quiet. Just some passing clouds overnight. There are some of those isolated showers and storms, mainly north of Interstate 74 tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Those will come to an end as we head into tomorrow night. And we should see some dry weather for a couple of days for Friday and Saturday. Temperatures make a run back into the mid to even upper 90s by Friday and Saturday. A cold front is coming through overnight Saturday night and early Sunday morning. That could bring some showers and storms to the area, but most of those will be during the overnight hours. Could see a stray shower storm early on Sunday. Overall, it should be a dry day. It might see some lower humidity for a day or two early next week. But then the temperatures and humidity increase again for the second half of next week, but we could finally see some higher rain chances as well, especially for the middle part of next week. For now, late Tuesday into Wednesday looks like it might be our best chance of rain in the extended forecast. We'll keep an eye on that as we definitely do need some rain and might even see a couple additional rain chances late next week as well. But for now, those chances are on the lower side. We're back with more details in that full first alert 10 day forecast on 25 News this evening. And of course, if you can't watch on TV, get your weather anytime on our 25 News First Alert weather app.